Hey guys, this is Fluffy Toast, and I'm going to be doing a commentary on TA Scarecrow versus TA Nav 148, I think it was, yes. This is Scarecrow, and this is Nav. The yellow Protoss is Nav, and the brown, excuse me, green Terran is Scarecrow. Um, so far, fairly standard play, doesn't look like there's going to be any um, four Raxes, but that'd just be silly, so it's probably a good thing. Or anything like that. It's not terribly much I can comment on at the moment, but, you know, that's the early game for you. Both players just building up their workers, like they do. It's generally a good idea to make workers in StarCraft. And there's the first pile on 4Nav. did come up at 9 over 9, so it was a bit late. And the supply depot for Scarecrow is just starting right now. It's also a bit late. He has he did have fifty minerals extra. And the pylon is done, so I would be expecting perhaps a gateway to be placed near it, because it's not the best place for a forge fast expand. There's the gateway. And that supply depot I think is done. It will be done soon. Stop making me look bad. Now the supply depot is done and he's going to finish off his wall in. And that doesn't look tight to me. That can't be tight. Oh. Um, this probe is going to scout across the map. The assimilator is putting down and being put down and so is the refinery. Both players still just um, massing up workers and creating the unit producing buildings. The gateway did finish first, because Nav put it down first. No Zealot from Nav. It looks like he's going to be doing a fast tech route. His probe looks like he's going to try and sneak in, but I don't think he's going to be able to. Nope, that's a tight wall in, which is crazy, but there you go. And there's, there's Scarecrow commenting on, yeah, it's tight. So... This must have been a surprise to him as well. And the cyber core is halfway done as well as another pylon going up. This SCV is going to go scout and the probe is still going to try and get in but it's just not going to work. An idle SCV there. Oh no, never mind. He's not idle anymore. And the factory is going up and it does look like that the pylon and the cyber core finish at exactly the same time so it was rather good timing there by Nav. Dragoon is coming out and the first marine is out to try and ward away that probe who actually dealt a fair bit of damage to that supply depot. That would have been rather funny. Oh, and that probe's going to get in. Yep, he slipped in underneath the barracks as it lifted off, so rather good timing there by Nav as well. And an idle SCV there, sitting next to the supply depot. And the barracks going, flying back down to stop the probe from going back out. And it's just sitting there, it's crazy. Hey, what's this? Proxy factory, that's not going to end well for Nav. And he is researching Dragoon range and an idle probe for him as well. And the first Dragoon is out as well as another pylon coming. That probe will probably go down, the machine shop being added on to that factory. And the probe did of course catch a glimpse of that. It looks like Nav is going to be wanting to um, expand here so we'll see how that goes for him. This factory, the proxy factory, is almost done, and I don't think this Dragoon is going to see it. Nope, he's going to go straight down that ramp, and the Nexus is going down. And there is a second Marine out, and two more supply depots, because Scarecrow is almost blocked. He is researching spider mines and creating two vultures, I think, one from this factory and one from the one at his main. So it does look like he's going to be trying to do some kind of vulture harass, and this Marine will die because his friends are complete assholes. And these marines are going to chase that Dragoon, and the Dragoon is going to run away, because... No, he's going to go find his friend, who is not a complete asshole. And then they're going to take out those marines, because those marines cannot have a 2 on 2 fight against Dragoons. It just doesn't happen. So the first vulture is out. Um, spider mine's not being finished yet, but that'll only take a few seconds now. <coughs> Excuse me. 
the robotics, robotic facility is going down. Sorry, I missed that earlier. Um, the first tank is out. No siege mode yet because he opted to get spider mines first. And what's this? There's two vultures out now. They're going to lay some mines down at the front ramp and they are going to get spotted by those dragoons. So I would think that both of the vultures will go down. And that was really unlucky mine placement there. No dragoons went down at all, but both vultures did. So very unlucky there. Next two vultures coming in now from Scarecrow's main. And that vulture taking a few hits but staying alive. <laughs> staying alive. Okay, no, I'm not gonna do that, sorry. Um Yes, two more vultures coming on. Um the natural is being uh saturated by Nav. Um another vulture on the way. For Scarecrow. Going across there. So that's five vultures now at Nav's front door, and the observer is coming out. Um, no more upgrades at the cyber core, but that's to be expected. Another factory going up, and an expansion for Scarecrow. So, looking to be very heavy late game. I don't know. I don't play Terran. Um, a forge going up as well, possibly for upgrades or cannons. Most likely upgrades. Um, that's quite a lot of vultures there, actually. Um, how many is that? Seven. Eight vultures, I can't count. Um, eight vultures in a tank. Looks like that um, Scarecrow will win this battle, if barely, because vultures are squishy. And, yeah, not not the best mine placement, but that one did get a few, but all the vultures go down. And those mines are just, um, because of the observer overhead, the dragoons can see them and will blow them up. That dragoon getting lucky, and getting not so lucky. That Dragoon is actually going to get very lucky because Scarecrow um, plants two mines down before actually shooting the Dragoon, allowing him to get another shot off. Two more Dragoons are on the way, and that Dragoon will go down. Excuse me, Vulture's on the way. And that Vulture went down to those probes. Very badass probes. There's two more Vultures on the way. That tank will go down because probes do a surprising amount of damage to um, things like that when they've been stacked are going to try and take out the mines so that the Dragoons can come out of the gateways without blowing up instantly. But I don't think that's going to work, seeing as um, there's just way too many vultures there. More mines going down in front of the um, gateways. Two more gateways going down, actually. And those probes are just falling like instantly to those vultures. And that vulture just kind of sitting there. He could easily take out that um, that dragoon, but no, he just sat there and chose not to. More vultures and tanks are on the way for Scarecrow, so this doesn't look good for Nav. There's almost no way he can come back from this. I don't think. Scarecrow just has a constant supply of vultures and tanks on the way, while Scarecrow is broke. He's got 50 minerals, and that's it. And he's got mines planted all around his gateways. There's just no way he can create any more um, units. Any more. There's GG. Thanks for watching. I'm Fluffy Toast. And I'll see you next time.